Okay. Let's start with the detailed overview of detailed instructions on the Calculate tab of the main page. Uh, like I already mentioned, it's the main entry point of the information into the application. Uh, all what concerns uh, with uh, nutrition's calories and points, uh, let me uh, show how you can use it. For example, you have eaten today in the morning fish cakes for breakfast. Oh, it was part of your breakfast. And the food that you have eaten was manufactured and have a label on it that contains, for example, uh, 5.6 gram of fat, 15.5 gram of carbs, not 5. 6.6 .6 grams of protein and 140 calories. Uh, speaking of calories, if you are looking at European labels, you will see not the word calories, you will see normally a kilocal or kilocalories. On American labels, it says just calories, but it means actually kilocalories. Or words, you enter, you see their their thousand calories number for words. It's not 140 calories, it's actually 140 kilocalories, but an American manufacturer usually just leave out the K word and it's convenient so that they actually put the calories, but it's not really the calories number, it's kilocalories number. In the pin labels, it actually says kilocalories or kilo or k -cal. So, but uh, uh, there was zero fiber, uh, but uh, for this particular product. So, what I can do with it? Uh, first, I can go ahead and say, well, I'm not eating this thing just once, I'm usually eating it pretty often so that I don't want to enter this uh, information all the time. I can just go ahead and add this food to my favorites and then I will be able to retrieve it anytime that I want without entering all these details. Also, I can, if there's a barcode, I could scan it and it and add it to the database of the barcodes with this information, with their nutritional information and the name of the product, and then retrieve it through their barcode scanner. But I will show you how, how to do it later. Or I can just go ahead, add this information, and say, well, that's what I e have eaten today. I don't want to save it anywhere, but in uh, the foods that I have eaten today, then all what I need to do is click plus, today plus. And it will ask me if uh, I want to see uh, how this nutritional information was added. And it will take me automatically right away to the today uh, tab, which will show me then that I have used four points which was their fish cakes that I have used this in the morning and I have left of 46 daily points well, didn't touch anything on weekly yet and uh, that brought me uh, 140 calories that I have eaten it also shows me on this page um, much more information but we'll go in details here later. So, back to the calculate. So, for example, I have the fish steaks, so I'm done with it. If I go in and I go out of the application, this information will be uh, deleted. I'm talking about everything but the information that I entered to the today. Uh, but if I want to enter something more, for example, say, I'm 
eaten this in the morning, but for some reason I just didn't eat it uh, this long, or for example, um, a strange person. Well, uh, uh, and I decided to drink some beer in the morning. Well, some of us do it, even if it's not very healthy. Uh, so, uh, in order to do this, for example, I had something like a Bud Light beer, right? So, uh, Bud Light beer contains some alcohol. So, in order to enter the com alcohol content, I need to, well, say, start here and put Bud Light beer. Okay, so interesting for the morning, but possible. So uh, that uh, beverage has an alcohol content. So in order to alcohol content, we need to use this button that will expand uh, the entry fields for the nutrition and add alcohol and sugar alcohol to the choice of entries but also it will do something else and you will see it in a second if I click on it it will take me automatically right away to the converter between um, alcohol by value percentage to grams um, and what it will think is their application uses grams for the calculations but you will never see a grams content on any alcoholic beverages. Usually you see their percent of alcohol that this particular beverage contains. And for some of the alcohol, they are usually alcohol by value. For example, uh, say alcohol by value for Bud Light is, I think, if I remember right, it's 5%. 5 uh, Usually it shows on uh, your bottles or cans or whatever the alcohol you're using. It shows you the alcohol percentage there. And also you can enter the amount of alcohol that you have drunk uh, in milliliters. For example, 12 ounces American uh, is uh, 355 milliliters. But I think yes, the milliliters usually are well the milliliters valium is usually shows on every uh, alcoholic beverage that you drink and talking about the bottle content or can content uh, but um, if it's not I mean it's really simple to find out that 12 ounces which is the normal beer bottle or uh, can uh, of uh, beer in United States is uh, 355 milliliters. So 355 milliliters of alcohol with 5% uh, uh, alcohol content will give me 14.09 uh, grams of alcohol. So if I click back it will enter this information in the alcohol content uh, uh, box of the application. So now you can enter and you see that the, it calculates the points right away. So for the 14 thirds for the beer bottle uh, of alcohol it's normally between 5 and 6 points. Uh, for, so that's what the value for the uh, uh, for the beer is. So, uh, sometimes uh, there is also a uh, carb content. For example, say the car, uh, carbs content, well, sometimes it's not just carb, but also the protein content. So, carb content of the beer bottle uh, of this particular kind is 
six grams and the protein is 0 0.5 grams. So it still contains uh, five, uh, five points and that's, if I remember right, but it uh, should not be, uh, you should, mm, you normally will see their calories on uh, the bottle or it will be calculated for you, but I think the Bud Light is approximately 100, 110 calories per bottle or can. So now we got this information there that we can save the same way to add favorites or add till today. So, and we had an interesting breakfast with value of nine points uh, of beer and uh, and fish cakes. You can see what you have eaten if you go to the view log. So, um, okay, that's about this way of entry. But, okay, if you click this button again, if it's expanded, it will collapse and hide all the information about the alcohol and sugar alcohol. Okay, but say that was our breakfast, right? But say we are in the midday, by the way, the application goes and chooses what time of the day and shows it to you automatically uh, by uh, comparing uh, the current time uh, of the well, current time on the uh, phone clock uh, with uh, the ranges that set up in the application. Uh, the morning time in the application is uh, till um, 12 o'clock. Uh, well, uh, af afternoon, if I were still 12 a.m., uh, it's the morning, uh, then uh, till 3 p.m. or uh, 3 o'clock afternoon, it's midday, and afterwards it's considered as evening, and it will change their settings. Uh, in your uh, screen right away when you enter the application that reads this and uh, resets itself automatically. But you always can go in and choose the time of the day as you want. Uh, so enough said about that. Now say we had a lunch. And this lunch, I don't want to enter all the products that I have, well, all the items that I have eaten there. I just want to enter the total number of points that this lunch was. And for example, say it was 10 points. I don't really know how much calories exactly it was. I just uh, roughly calculated the points that I have eaten based on the kind of foods that I have eaten and well you don't have to do it but the thing is sometimes it's really handy to do it like this and uh, you enter 10 points for example and it's worth of 10 points is your lunch and all what you want to do is add it to today for what you have eaten lunch 10 points worth what application will do it will take those 10 points add them to the time of the day that you selected and also uh, will add uh, 40 points uh, per point oh I'm sorry 40 gra uh, 40 uh, calories per point 
to the amount of calories that you have eaten. So it just uh, does it on average. And uh, for example, when I added those 10 points, it adds 400 calories to the calories that I have eaten today. And the uh, thing is, like I said, you don't have to do it. It's just a little shortcut that allows you to enter things quickly into the application and also maintain uh, the list of things, points, by the time of the day that you can actually see what you have eaten. If you do the same thing, say, by adding those points here in today, uh, using this ability, which I will show you later, it will not add those items to the food log, to the items that you eat log, that you can uh, see later. It will just add the points to your used points or take the use take the points from what you have used today and that's it. So but if you go in here and you have eaten lunch of ten points, it shows you this. If you click on it it will show you the details about it and the nutritional values will be nothing. But at least it will show you that that's what you have eaten and it separates and shows you when you have eaten it and uh, explains to you what it was. If you, well, here you can click, like I said, I will explain it later, um, uh, what you have eaten in the morning. You see here what it was, the name of the product. If you click on it, it will show you the uh, nutritional values of it. Okay, well, after you're done, you can clear it and we'll put it to the beginning uh, ready for you to enter. Uh, you will land in this point, uh, I'm, I'm talking about in this tab. Also, when you are scanning uh, your product barcode and uh, if the barcode is in that base, you will be taken here and shown the information that is contained in database uh, in association with this barcode. Or if it's not, you will be uh, offered the ability to enter this new item into the database and you will still take them to this page uh, where you will be entering the nutritional values, name of the product, and then save the barcode, but I will show you this later. But that's mainly everything about uh, this part of the application, the calculate tab. So.